Hello investors, let's check how market performed on Friday and what should be the approach for next week. Last week went well for both BFM and ADX market as weekly candle closed in green for both after a big red candle of previous week. On Friday, DFMGI Dubai's index opened at 4436 and closed at 440 up by only 3 points from previous day's closing. On 5 minute chart if you see, during whole session it moved up and down sideways within support 4429 and resistance 4443 levels that we discussed on Friday morning. Let's check what should be the approach for next week. Although DFMGI has made higher lows this week, but matter of concern is this level 4443 market has to break this level to go up and establish a new base else if it falls the first support is at 4429 then the next support is at 4418 for dfm market only three sectors closed in positive on friday and communication services topped in that up by 2.78 percent over to fadgi abu dhabi's index on friday it opened at 9246 and closed at 9260 which is 10 points from previous day's closing on five minutes chart you can see it is moving sideways from 10th of october but slowly it is moving up if we draw trend line joining these two lows then next week also market must sustain on this trend line and move up for the next week, support level is 9237 and resistance level is 9283. For ADX market also, only three sector close in positive on Friday and basic material topped in that up by 3.4%. Now the important section, if you missed the market news last week, here is the recap. AD NH catering IPO price range set between 0.91 to 0.96 AD. Final offer price come on 16th October. LF Education wins the Disruptor Award at Bet Asia Awards. NMDC Group secures 5 million projects for marine dredging in Abu Dhabi. Aldars London Square launches two new developments in London. Orido raises $500 million through oversubscribed 10 year bond. Adnock Logistics and Services declared 0.0678 dirhams of dividend per share for which entitlement dates is in next week, 15th of October. Adnock Logistics and Service Joint Venture Shipping awards $250 million contract to China's Jiangnan Shipyard for very large ammonia carriers. Aldar partners with Expo City Dubai for major mixed-use development. Burjil Holding expands Physiotherapy to 28 centers in Saudi Arabia. Union Property launches Takaya project in Dubai Motor City. So that's it for now friends. See you tomorrow. Happy investing.